Linus uh, emails me. In several of your latest podcasts, you have discussed the issue of trying to chase multiple rabbits at the same time. My question is, if you employ this strategy, focusing on one quality at a time, to, ath <laughs> to athletes of all ages, or if you treat people at different stages in their athletic career differently. Yes, that is, that is exactly what you do. It, but Linus, make sure you understand what we're talking about. If, if I've got a discus thrower, the rabbit he, he or she is chasing is to throw the discus farther. But they also need to be very strong. They need all these other qualities too, a powerful, um, they need a, they need a, an interesting kind of work capacity. So what you try to do is build it into the annual program. And then, uh, if, if you, if you're lucky enough to have them for multiple years, then you can focus in off seasons on those gaps that they need to fill in. Uh, it is a very, uh, it can be elegant in some ways. Um, the mistake I think you're hearing, Linus, is always remember when you're talking to me, active athletes, everybody else. With active athletes, I'm trying to get them to their goal. With everybody else, we're trying to get them to address their needs. Not what they want, but what they need. Body composition, mobility, strength. The mistake everybody else has tend to make is that they try to... <laughs> Well, they, they, they start to go off in all these different directions. And so what you really need to do within everybody else, if they're a body composition client, you got to deal with caloric restriction somehow and get them to do inefficient exercises. If they're a mobility client, they need to do mobility work and some, some form of hypertrophy work. So the two of them will work together. If they're a strength client, uh, many women I work with uh, who want to lose some body fat, the problem they have right they're not strong enough yet so we need to get them stronger uh first okay so it, it, it's not a question of, of chasing rabbits with the active athlete it's trying to get the body composition client to realize that uh, all they want to do is sweat all they want to do is uh feel the burn but then they after that workout they go in and eat they eat a couple bagels uh, here in Salt Lake, one of my students worked at a bagel shop and they had this one particular bagel and it was just disgusting, really. And I said, how many calories in that? She goes, we're not allowed to tell you. What? It had 1,100 calories. I think you can run a marathon on 1,100 calories. And that was one bagel. Folks, you're not going to outrun that bagel. You're not going to uh, outrun that dessert you had last night. Um you certainly can have bagels and you can have desserts, but you're going to have to really clean up the rest of the stuff. So make sure you keep that straight in your head, Linus, for me. Active athletes, we are going to do whatever we need to do to get them to their goal. So that does mean lots of strength work in the offseason. It does mean mobility work, flexibility work is appropriate. And then the bulk of their time on their sport. But for everybody else, we're going to focus on what they need to do now.